What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the series. This is the Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Cleveland Browns here in our Cleveland Browns franchise. This is season one, game one. We'll be taking on the Steelers at home in Cleveland Browns Stadium. This is a look through their starting lineup, their depth chart. I'm not sure why they're starting man over Teague and Okobi, but they're worse at center than they could be, so that's good news for us, right? This is a Pittsburgh Steelers football team that won the Super Bowl two years ago um, against the Seattle Seahawks and then didn't make the playoffs last year, but still a very good football team. A lot of uh, people coming back from that Super Bowl team, so... Here we are. You see a rookie, Lamar Woodley. Uh, see if he ever becomes a star like he was in Pittsburgh. Larry Foote and James Farrier. And then James Harrison on the outside. Um, he hasn't become the star. He eventually became either. Not yet, anyway. As uh, the Super Bowl where he ran that interception back never happened. So they got Ryan Clark, Palomalu as their safeties. Jeff Reed and Spit Devleda. Uh, Santonio Holmes returning their kicks. For some reason, Davenport is their second string at that. Not sure why, but he is. And then punt returners also Santonio Holmes. Long snacker. Snacker. <laughs> Snapper is a Kobe. And we're ready to get this series underway here in this first season. The Pittsburgh Steelers will kick off to Joshua Cribs. He brings it out of the end zone and goes... Might as well not come out of the end zone. Then we get a penalty, so we're starting from the 16-yard line. Handoff to Jamal Lewis. He gets us just about back to the 20. And then gets us nowhere on the second carry of the game. Yeah, that's how that goes. Seneca Wallace now dropping back, firing deep down the field, down the middle of the field to, I believe that's Tim Carter. So we get a big gain there. Jamal Lewis going to break it outside off the counter play. Pick up a pretty good gain right there. Gain of five. Seneca Wallace again to Lewis on the counter. And he's going to break through one tackle kind of and then get brought down. And then Tucker gets called for holding. So back it up. Second and 15 now. we got Corey Dillon in breaking a tackle and finally being drugged down. But guess what? Now Joe Thomas with the holding penalty. It's now second and 24. Seneca Wallace dropping back. And he's going to run out, pass out to Tim Carter, who's going to get us across the 40-yard line. Third and 19 early in the game. Wallace is going to tuck it and run, picks up a couple blocks, gets hung up, does a spin move the wrong direction, tackle out of bounds, and we will settle for a 41-yard field goal. Attempt kick is up, and kick is a good. Uh, now Zestadel kicking off to Santonio Holmes. Holmes comes up, finds a crease, breaks a tackle, and he's brought down on the plus side of the 35-yard line at the 36. Willie Parker up the middle, pretty good gain there. Almost a first down, seven yards on the play. Second and three, throwing to Nate Washington. He's going to take it across midfield into Brown territory. Counterplay to Willie Parker, who does a little back juke for no reason. Still a four-yard gain. Uh, and there's a halfback draw play to Willie Parker. Much larger chunk picked up on that one. Just like that there on uh, our 34-yard line. And Najee Davenport's going to take him down to the 20-yard line. Willie Parker up the middle. Inside the 20 now. In the red zone. Roethlisberger dropping back. Looking throws deep to Holmes. And I challenged that play because it looked like he didn't catch it, but he did. Uh, play action to Willie Parker, back of the end zone to Hans Ward, but he's out of bounds, so the Steelers will kick the 20-yard field goal to tie the game up at three. They kick the ball back off, and Joshua Cribs is there to pick it up. He's going to come across the 20, maybe get across the 30, yeah, about the 34-yard line for Joshua Cribs. Now from the 36, Wallace drops back, throws deep, I'm not sure how that wasn't caught right in front of Braylon Edwards. He just doesn't put his hands out. And he's got a big gain if he catches it. Maybe a touchdown. But that's not what we got. Wallace dropping back, looking left, throws incomplete. 
so we have to punt the ball away. The Steelers will take over at the 15, their own 15-yard line, and Willie Parker takes them uh, right on out to the 26-yard line. So the Steelers with the pitch to Parker, and he loses about six of those yards. They go back to the 20, 21 officially. Second and 15 now, Roethlisberger in the shotgun looking, and he finds Holmes on the screen. An untouched straight line speed. Baxter almost gets him with the dive. Not meant to be. And there we have it. Roethlisberger with the screen. And we sent a house blitz at the behest of Madden. And that's what we get for our trouble. It's Antonio Holmes on a screen. The length of the field. So we're going to take Josh Cribbs out, put in Carter for our return. Um, just he's got more speed. I just Josh Cribbs felt slow, but we may not stick with that. We'll see anyway. Braylon Edwards breaks a tackle, picks up a big gain now at the 43 yard line, first and 10. Jamal Lewis bouncing off people, third and inches now at the 48 yard line. Jamal Lewis gets us across the 45 down to the 41 yard line, and Seneca Wallace is going to roll out. I got to figure out how to slide. If anyone knows how to slide, don't be afraid to tell me. Because every time I try, I've tried several different tactics on that square button, but every time, as we end the third quarter down 10-3, to three, every time I dive, and I just know it's going to wind up costing me a fumble at some point. Um, I'm not looking forward to that. But we are down to the four-yard line. Corey Dillon trucking, trucking, trucking. And he gets across the goal line. It's now 10-10, 6.53 left, second and five for the Steelers from the 35-yard line. Osberger under center, drops back, throws to Nate Washington, who gets a huge gain across midfield. Down at the 41-yard line, second and 17, Roethlisberger. All day to pass, and well, we wind up breaking that one up. So there's some good defense. A halfback draw to Najee Davenport, the big boy, out of the U, University of Miami. Hand off, fake. Pulled me again, just like it did when I was playing the game. Play action back to Willie Parker and Heath Miller picks up a big gain down to the 10 yard line. Roethlisberger dropping back. And the goofiest looking little toss. And then our defensive back does the exact same animation as the receiver. Only the receiver does it where the ball's going, and we do not. Very nice. Very nice. So we take back over now, trailing again. Braylon Edwards out to about the 40 yard line. Play fake to Lewis, and then Seneca's going to roll out. Once they come up, he's going to throw to Hayden, Hayden, Hayden. I can't remember. I don't really know how to say his name. Hand off to Jamal Lewis up the gut. Picks up about five. Wallace dropping back again. And there's that. Interception to Chris Hoke. If you watch, Braylon Edwards comes across, waving his hand like he's open. But then when we throw it, he just turns up field away from it. I don't understand, but either way, bad read, bad throw, and here we are. Hans Ward picks up the first down, gets to about midfield on that one. They're across midfield now. They throw in the flat, and it is incomplete. So we get the ball right back from the Steelers. We find Braylon Edwards. He is driven out of bounds. 240 left in the first half. The Steelers did... Didn't the Steelers kick to open the game? I'm pretty sure they did. Anyway, pretty sure they get the ball after the half. And then Jamal Lewis picks up the first down there for us. My ear itches. Mike Wallace kind of up the gut there. And again, if I could slide, Lord knows I would. There's the counter fake. And it was, it was just awful. And I don't plan, no matter what Madden says, I do not plan to ever run that play again. Uh, right there... I don't know if it's an awareness or an accuracy thing, but Seneca Wallace, instead of throwing the out where he was open, throws it up the field. So I'm going to have to remember that. Either way, we punt the ball. Antonio Holmes fumbles it, and I thought surely we could run that in. But I guess if they muff it, you're not allowed to. But we overthrow Braylon Edwards out of the side of the end zone. Wallace, nice scrambling. Got nowhere to go with it. Just heaves it up. Dangerous throw. Brings up fourth down, and we will kick the 28-yard field goal. We 
with Dawson. 17 to 13, a minute 12 left in the first half. Roethlisberger drops back, throws to Nate Washington. Gets him across the 30 yard line. Second and 10, 54 seconds. Roethlisberger on the run. Bring him down. He's a big boy. 50 seconds now to go. First and 10 for the Steelers. Roethlisberger drops back. Looking left, throwing left. And it's caught by Santonio Holmes. And they would eventually kick a 45 yard field goal. Six seconds to go. Make it 20 to 13 at the half. Now you can see the numbers from the first half. Time of possession only off by two seconds. We had 801, they had 759. So that's pretty interesting. Kick the ball off to Holmes. And Holmes gets to the 25. Play fake to Parker. Roethlisberger finds Heath Miller. Um, I don't feel like we've done terrible against the run. I feel like we just don't have any answer for anybody in the passing game. We had a guy there on that one, but it just doesn't make the play. Nate Washington gets him to the eight-yard line. There's the play fake to Parker. Roethlisberger, we get back there on that one. Finally, we get some pressure on him, and we get the sack. Man in motion for Roethlisberger, who steps up, and he is sacked again. This time, I believe it was McGinnis. We bring the pressure overload off one side, and we knock it down at the goal line. Fourth down, the Steelers would kick the field goal, and it is good. 23-2-13. Handoff to Jamal Lewis, who loses his helmet. Seneca Wallace rolling out. He's in trouble. Throws it up to Heaton, Hayden, Heaton, Hayden, Hayden, however you say his name. Should probably figure that out. Seneca rolling out again. This time he's going to keep it. And you'll notice how he didn't slide. Third and one now, handoff to Corey Dillon, who's going to pick up the first down. We're going to be about the 45-yard line. Wallace dropping back. Wallace under pressure. Wallace comes out. Nice slide, except he dove. And I just know in my heart of hearts that's going to cause me some fumbles or injuries or something, and I'm not going to like it. Like that right there. See, so yeah, I came to a complete stop and then hit square because I read somewhere that's what you had to do. Still didn't work. Anyway, we find Heaton again. And I knew as soon as he got hit in the foot in that tackle that he was going to fumble. I just knew it. I knew I saw, as soon as I saw that animation, I was like, oh, that ball's coming out. And lo, that ball came out. Steelers take over 23-13 to 13 now, and they throw a deep bomb. Surprised anybody caught up to Holmes, but somebody did catch up to Holmes. And then nobody catches up to Holmes this time, and they do go in for the touchdown. 30 to 13 now. The Browns trail. And there's a drop by Heaton. Hayden Hayden. Wallace throws again. This time probably should have been picked by Ike Taylor, but it is not. The Steelers get the ball back. Play fake. Roethlisberger rolls out. Picks up like eight yards. This time they hand off to Willie Parker. When we get that stop, they would punt and we would get a penalty on the return, naturally. So we start back at our own 10 yard line, but Jamal Lewis gets a big gain. Now Wallace dropping back. That was that was not pretty. Leads that one too far, but it doesn't matter because he didn't catch it anyway. Wallace now is gonna have to scramble. He's running out and I meant to throw that to um, Wilson, I think it was there. I meant to hit R2 and then his icon to move the vision over there, but instead I hit L2. And yeah, that, that threw the ball away. So Roethlisberger throws this one deep. We got two guys there. Nobody turns around to try to make a play. Not one person. Holmes turns around, just stands there. No, no bother, no trouble. Catches it inside the five. They're down at the two yard line now. Play fake. Back of the end zone for San Antonio Holmes. We find Josh Cribbs for his first reception of the game. Likewise, first one of the season. Braylon Edwards. Another first down. So we're moving the ball a little bit now. Got Joe Drew a vicious. He's going to get out of bounds just outside of the 30 yard line. Play fake to Corey Dillon. And we throw this one deep. And 
that guy should have had a touchdown, but he didn't. That should have been an interception, but it wasn't. We punt the ball back to the Steelers, trailing 37-13. to Roethlisberger keys one up, and why not? Why not? The announcers actually said Roethlisberger throws a touchdown. What else is new on that last one? And I couldn't argue with them. So a very disappointing game. Did not go well. Uh, so we're going to have to do some recouping for the next game. we got the Bengals up next. Um, they have a very good offense. Carson Palmer is the third best quarterback on the game overall-wise. And then, of course, Chad Johnson, uh, TJ house Mazzilli, um, Rudy Johnson. Not a great defense, so maybe we'll have a little bit better chance of sticking with them if it's high scoring, which it probably will be against that offense that's going against our defense. But... Anyway, until then, 